Hello guys, how are y'all doing? Um, nothing much going on tonight on a big Wednesday night. I just wanted to hop on here and talk to you guys. Uh, very excited. I just joined the um, Facebook family vlogger, the vloggers family room. Super excited about that. Um, nothing much going on. I'm getting a little frustrated. Uh, nothing has been happening with my weight and my inches for about five days now. Uh, my last release was the two pound release on Friday and since then I had gained a pound and I think yeah I'm kind of stuck at 172 yeah no I gained eight ounces so I was at 171.2 but I'm, I'm stuck here and actually um I've put on a little fluid, and I know it's fluid, because I'm ovulating and um, I'm a little bloated, so I know it's fluid, so I'm not, it's like a pound, so, um, but nothing's changed in my inches, but I'm kind of bummed because that is a lot of days, five days, and nothing changing. Maybe I'm not going to see anything until after I'm finished ovulating, I really don't know how that works. I didn't even know till now that you actually put on little water weight sometimes when you're ovulate, ovulating um but yes so I don't know I just don't know if there's something that I can do like I know I've heard um you can do a mini steak day I might look into that but um I really want to get things moving and honestly I've got to cut out a few things I guess uh yesterday I ate some beef pot roast which I don't know how fatty it was. I think it was like round, round steak or something. My father-in-law had given us some and I just put it in the slow cooker. Well, I ate some of that and that's, you know, I'm just going to strictly stick to chicken and fish because I know that's okay. So today that's all I had was chicken. I did very well. Today, um, I'm even going to take out my sugar-free coffee creamer if I have to. I've got to get things rolling. Um, now it is like the 39th day, um, I don't have my phone in front of me, it could be the 40th day, um, from the same batch of HCG, so I don't know if it's still potent. Well, I mean, I'm not having any cravings, so I think it is, but, you know, I guess it just slows down a lot. Um, but yeah, yada, yada, yada. Let me stop blah, blah about that. Um... So I should be mixing up a new batch very soon. Um, and we'll see. But I hope things start moving in the right direction. And I really, on my part, I need to put in more effort and cut those little things out. Uh, I cut out my Melba toast. And I was having laughing cow cheese. I cut that out. So I just really have like one or two cups of coffee with sugar for creamer. So um, if nothing happen happens tomorrow... Uh, and it could be the ovulating. Nothing happens. I'll just cut the creamer out too. Um, now I'm not drinking a gallon of water. I'm probably drinking about 70 ounces of water. Let's see, probably like five 16 ounce bottles. Yeah, so about 80. I don't know. Maybe I need to drink more water. I could do that. Uh, but I really don't have much else to say besides that. I did want to show you guys some of my favorite pairs of shoes. I know a while people were showing their shoes, and I just didn't, um, do it. So I want to show you guys now. These are my favorite, favorite pairs. I love wedges. Let's see if you can see them. These are my favorite. My absolute favorite. These are my fry wedges. And those of you who know Fry, they're not they're not cheap, but I love them. They're wood, beautiful cognac leather, and a and a brass ring. I love these. I love them, love them, love them. My favorite. Okay. Then I have the same pair in dark brown. I just adore these shoes. I don't I really don't know why. They're my favorite of all. They have the little studs. 
and these are a dark brown leather glove. And these are kind of similar, but <laughs> these are really beat up. Actually, um, these are just like a different type. But I love wooden wedges. So those are some of my wedges and my flip flops. I just got these. They're just like a leather flip flop with a little gold ring. Love those. And I just got these. These are so cute. I absolutely love these. This is like a rose colored leather. And um, yes, these are really fun. I like these. And that's that on my shoes. Um, okay, and also, I know you girls were talking about nail polishes, and I'm so excited for spring and all the awesome colors that I've been trying some out, as you can tell. I just got this cute, cute pink color. Got this beautiful blue. Let's see, I don't know. With the light. Love it. Jenny, I saw you with those blue nails, and I love them. I got this really awesome baby blue. I don't know, it's glaring. Baby blue and a beautiful canary yellow. Oh, it's showing up a lot darker. It's actually a lot lighter than it's showing. But yes, I can't wait to try those out and put on a little beautiful pink flowery top or dress. Love flowers. Love floral patterns. Uh, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait for the spring clothes. Uh, Alright guys, nothing much to say. I hope I'll be coming to you with a wonderful report tomorrow or the next day about a loss. Because, I mean, it's getting old. It's five days. Nothing getting old. Alright, love you all.